Hello, Jamrix here, and it's been a while since I've done a news video, or any video in general. Sorry, I'm just so busy all the time with school and all. But a bunch of new sets have been revealed in the past week, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Definitely the most coolest thing that happened was the reveal of the LEGO Star Wars Star Vader's Castle 75251. This was revealed by the Star Wars show, which a card for the episode should pop up now or later whenever I have time to do so. This has 1,060 pieces for 130 bucks. Eh, pretty steep, but I love this thing. The main figures are great as well, with two being exclusive. The weirdest thing is that it's an Amazon exclusive. Well, that's pretty weird. You can pre-order right now by going on Amazon or lego.com, and it will ship to you by November 26th, which is my birthday, funny enough. But yeah, that's, that's really it for the set. Besides the fact that the box art is great. Definitely the most saddest part is that there is a YouTuber called Rebel Attack, go sub to him, has all had all his Legos stolen. He is about he had about twenty thousand dollars worth of it, and it all was stolen. Every bit of it. However, MNR set up a GoFundMe page so he could raise enough so he could can get it back. So good luck to him. Sorry about that Rebel Attack. Republic Attack, sorry. Also, probably the most interesting was that the 2018 review for LEGO Ideas was announced, and there are two sets being made in for 2019, which will be this very beautiful treehouse, and more importantly, a LEGO Flintstone set. Yes! Now, even though I have no interest in the treehouse, the Flintstones house will I will definitely get. Wow, that's amazing. I like cartoon I like cartoony minifigures too, so it will be a great inclusion. Another really odd thing is that Just Too Good found a 7 year old Lego set at Walmart yesterday or whenever this video came out. It was a Life of George, a 2011 Lego game. It was being sold for $4.50. I had no purpose. It had no purpose because it was literally just a box because some jerk like sold Legos out of it. But hey, weird right? Finally, also yesterday, the first LEGO Overwatch set was revealed, which is a Blizzard exclusive, which will be linked in the description, description maybe, which is called Omnic Bastion, which looks decent, not my favorite set, but I'll take it. Apparently this is in limited quantity, so like, buy it now I still can. Also, this is minifigure scale, because the dude's apparently large in the characters in the game. I might get this. I don't know. This set is 20 bucks, so pretty steep. Plus, my birthday's next month, so I'm gonna lay off Lego for now. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And should I continue to make news vids like this? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.